Hello students, uh, my name is Santosh Kumar and um, I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. So we are in module number one uh, that is Metal Cutting Theory and Dynamometry. So in this video we will discuss our topic uh, Ernst and Merchant's model. So there are many theories of uh, metal cutting. Uh, these include a relationship between three parameters that is shear angle, rake angle and angle of friction. Uh, one of the most popular theory is Ernst Merchant's theory because uh, they are the first to provide a complete analysis resulting in so called sh uh, shear angle solution. So in their analysis uh, they make certain assumptions, uh, they have made certain assumptions that is uh, they consider a chip as a rigid body held in equilibrium under the action of forces. Uh, there is one more assumptions which they have made uh, that is uh, they consider the whole uh, resultant of tool force is transmitted across the tool chip interface and there is no force transmitting onto the tool that is uh, onto the tool edge or applying. So the basis of Hans and Merchant theory was the suggestion that a shear angle would take up such a value as to reduce the work done in a cutting to a minimum. So they have found a shear angle value uh, so that the work done is a minimum. So we know that uh, work done is a product of uh, a cutting force into velocity. So in order to get the minimum work uh, done, so uh, the, we need to get an expression for cutting force in terms of uh, a phi uh, and then we need to uh, differentiate work done with respect to phi and equate it to zero so that uh, we get a value of phi uh, for which work done is a minimum. So for that I uh, will consider the merchant circle diagram uh, so which we are already familiar with. So these are the forces uh, in the merchant circle diagram. And uh, so let me consider this triangle that is shear force and uh, backup force and the resultant force. So the angle is uh, phi plus tau minus alpha. So by this triangle I can write uh, cos of uh, phi plus tau minus alpha will be equal to Fs by R. So Fs will be equal to R cos phi plus tau minus alpha. So this is the expression for shear force which we have uh, derived in previous videos. Um, we will consider one more uh, triangle here now. So we know that shear stress will be equal to shear force by shear area. So therefore shear force will be equal to shear stress into area of a shear plane. So instead of uh, AS I can write it as AC by sin phi. So by this uh, sketch you can see this is the area of the uh, chip. So I can write instead of AS AC by sin phi. So R will be uh, that is by this equation that is Fs equation uh, R will be equal to Fs by cos phi plus tau minus alpha. Instead of Fs uh, I am substituting this part that is tau AC by sin phi. So this is Fs part. So I will just represent this. Uh, so this is uh, Fs okay uh, by cos phi plus tau minus alpha and by the triangle uh, we know that uh, this is uh, tau minus alpha so cos of uh, tau minus alpha will be equal to uh, adjacent by hypotenuse that is fc by r therefore fc will be equal to r cos tau minus alpha so fc uh, will be equal to instead of r i can substitute this value uh, into this equation so i'll get fc will be equal to tau ac by uh, sin phi and then uh, we have a remaining part that is cos tau minus alpha by cos phi plus tau minus alpha. So I will uh, I got the equation for Fc now. So I will call this as equation number 1. Uh, but work done is Fc into uh, Vc. So uh, in order to get a minimum work done I need to differentiate this equation uh, with respect to phi and equate it to 0 so that work done is minimum. So now equation 1 may now may be differentiated with respect to phi and equated to 0. So by that we get by doing that uh, we get phi value that will be equal to pi by 4 minus tau by 2 plus alpha by 2. Uh, in different uh, test books uh, they use different notation for tau uh, instead of that is angle of friction for angle of friction they use uh, uh, beta and then uh, for uh, uh, rake angle some in some set of test books they use gamma. So you need to be careful about the notations which they have used. So we are using this notation that is phi will be equal to uh, pi by 4 minus tau by 2 plus alpha by 2. 
So this is the equation which uh, Merchant's Hans Merchant's theory uh, gives you. Uh, this is the equation they have developed. So this equation uh, holds good. Uh, that Merchant found that this uh, theory agreed well with uh, the experimental results uh, when they are cutting the synthetic plastics and not for metals. So it agreed poorly with the experimental results obtained for the steel machined and sintered carbide tool. So this was agreeing only with the synthetic plastics cutting and it was not uh, agreeing with well with the uh, metal like a steel uh, machine. Uh, so they developed uh, one more theory that is called a second theory. So which will be discussed in the another video. So we will end this video.